Special analysis by Sky's data team has found that four in five areas across England now have fewer GPs compared to five years ago. More than a third of places have lost more than 10% of their workforce. Northern parts of the country have been particularly hard hit with Blackburn with Darwin, seeing its numbers fall from 45 GPs per 100,000 patients to 33, a 27% drop. Face-to-face -face appointments are still below pre-pandemic levels across England. In the same area, just 35.9% of appointments were face-to-face -face this summer, compared with 87.8% in 2019. Sky's Interman Rashid reports now from Blackburn with Darwin, where GPs and their patients are calling for more funding. Access to a GP is the first line of much-needed care for Julie. Two years ago, she developed sepsis. Today, she struggles to see a doctor face to face. That should be your first point of call, your GP, and you should be able to see a GP no matter what. You should always be able to see a GP. Not over telephone, not by video. You should be able to have a GP's appointment within at least 24 hours. It doesn't help that she lives in the area which was losing GPs even before the pandemic. Now, the frustrations are too much. Well, you just feel so low. You just, sometimes I just feel like crying out for help and there's just nobody there. It's just gone to dogs, basically. That's, that's the way the health service has just gone to the dogs. After years of cuts to budgets and a waning number of colleagues, GPs across the country are in crisis. Tell me about the ultrasound scan now. Dr Murthy has been doing this job for more than 30 years. He loves it but he says being a GP in Blackburn right now is the most difficult it's ever been. I'm working at the moment almost 10 hours a day, including, and I'm also working on the weekends just to catch up some urgent work, not the routine work. And that is the reality of it. We are seeing 40, 50 patients either on telephone, face to face, or, and that is per day. And by the time in the evening, you are exhausted. It's a situation public health leaders here say is all too familiar. We lost a year's male life expectancy during the COVID pandemic. We're never going to recover uh, equal life chances for our children if we don't make sure that everyone has equal and fair access to GPs. For the people of Blackburn and Darwin, health inequalities isn't a policy on a to-do list. It's an everyday lived experience. Accessing primary care is a first port of call, but here, and like many other places, they're just not getting through. This is a national problem, one the pandemic exacerbated. But it's GPs in the most deprived towns and cities that face the toughest consequences. Without them, our NHS would crack and crumble. It's clear they need help now more than ever, so they can help those who need it. Inzaman Rashid, Sky News, Blackburn.